Hey there folks. So it is Thursday night and this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. So Travis and I are going to be taking the bikes and going down to the Black Hills in South Dakota and we're planning on going to see a whole bunch of sites there. But I've been wanting to upgrade a bunch of my camera equipment and I here recently just did that. Part of what I wanted to accomplish was being able to talk to you while riding down the road. I know dubbing the music in has been fine and good and I'll still do some of that but I also wanted to be able to create some commentary when we saw things riding along the road there. So I have just recently made uh, the purchase of a Cena Prism and this little guy is supposed to link up with the communications that I already have on my helmet. So let me just show you real quick what that all looks like. <laughs> Okay, so that mess you're looking at there is all of the stuff that goes with that little guy right there. And I have the back off of it right now, but that's where you put your SD card and your battery and whatnot. This little action camera mounts right into that bracket on the side of your helmet, and then obviously this thing will move around. Why that camera? Well, I use a GoPro also, and it does fine. Uh, but it's no good for trying to link anything audio wise while it does have Bluetooth capability it does not have the capability to link to the communications that I already have installed in my helmet now I pulled this out of my Arai helmet and installed it onto my shoe berth so now this will give me all of my phone connection and everything the thing that's really cool about this setup is that that unit right there can provide the audio track to the things that this unit is recording, which means that I link them via Bluetooth and I can talk to you and record while riding down the road and you're gonna hear me instead of the wind noise. So we're gonna go out and give it a little test run tonight and see how it works. Come along for the ride. Well, okay folks, we are on the bike here and I can tell this is recording. Oh, look who is just showing up. Man, look at that. Let me uh, kill the bike here and talk to Travis real quick. And there goes Travis, who just pulled up here as I was getting ready to roll out. We're going to be getting loaded up to head for uh, Black Hills here tomorrow. So let's go see how well all of this stuff works. I should have commentary with you right now. While I'm riding down the road, I still don't know how well the camera is aimed because there's not a display on it. That's one little drawback. Even if they put a really tiny little display window on it, just for the purposes of aiming that camera to make sure you were capturing what you wanted, boy, that would help a ton. And uh, so we're just going to go out and ride around the block here. This little park that's up here on my left is actually kind of a neat little place. It's well, everything's green up here. I was going to say nothing's green up here, but it is all getting green now. But uh, this little park is new within the last three years, four years. And they do it doesn't look like they have any teams up here playing right now. But usually, almost every night of the week, there's 50 or 60 people out here playing soccer games at night. And it's pretty fun. Oh, look at those thunderheads over there in the background. Yeah, we had some pretty good thunderstorms here earlier today. And there's a couple of fellas unloading some dirt bikes. But it's a real good spot. Everybody comes out here and they run and they walk their dogs. And Not a bad little community considering what Williston, North Dakota was at one time. None of this stuff was up here. This was all just farm field and... Uh, Boy, the people that were coming in here by the droves, and they were all staying in temporary man camp housing and stuff. It was, boy, it was bad. A lot of bad characters around for a long time, too. But a lot of those guys, since the oil field slowed down a little bit, it's starting to pick up again some. But most of the, most of the busy folks that bring around that kind of challenging crowd are all down in Texas. So now what we've got left up here in North Dakota is a pretty pretty well uh, a family oriented bunch 
So everybody's pretty good folks. We still got a few choice individuals floating around, but they're all mostly gone. And I speak about this place like it's home. It's the furthest thing from it. I live in Colorado, but I work up here and I work in the oil business. And so uh, I've seen really what's happened in this place. Being in the business as long as I have, I've seen it from before the boom hit until through the boom and then after the boom it had uh, kind of come and gone and the transformation of this place has just been absolutely incredible to see what's gone on during the oil boom it was like the wild west out here you know I don't know how much history you guys know but you've ever, you've ever heard of the term the 49ers well most people know that as being a football team out in San Francisco California but the 49ers for you non-history people was a reference to the gold rush and that was in 1849 everybody went to California it was one of a few gold rushes that we had in the western half of the United States but uh, it was a real big one and boy it was notorious for rough characters and murders and everything else and this little corner in North Dakota was a modern day gold rush it was a real slaughterhouse for a while I remember on a number of occasions being in those man camps and hearing gunshots in the middle of the night and then oh you know the police were so busy about an hour would go by before you'd hear the sirens somebody would show up and usually by that time the guy that did the shooting had realized what he had done most of it was just drunken raid shooting and stuff like that and uh, so the police would just kind of come in and clean up the bodies and if there was somebody left behind they'd take who they could get and carry on it was pretty wild up here for a while. Some folks getting some exercise, that never hurts anybody. There's a little look out over the valley. I don't know what it looks like. I have a tendency of turning my head really fast and I noticed when I did that with my GoPro that it made the camera really jerky so if I'm doing that to you now folks I apologize coming up on Memorial Day weekend that's one thing I always love having American flags around I tend to be pretty patriotic that's one of a few times of the year that everybody really seems to get in the spirit of things and they start bringing out all the American flags and whatnot I always think it to be a real pretty sight I got thinking about it because there was a flag right there on the corner and it's always there but I notice a lot more people flying them on their vehicles and from their porches and homes and stuff now well that's a pretty good size uh, thunderhead that's building up there and you can't see the tops of it when they are really and you can see nice definable edges and you see them building up higher than what they are then you know they're really going to turn out to be probably a pretty violent storm but that one there looks like it's hit that ceiling and starting to dissipate but it's still continuing to grow. I just don't see the sharp edges in the clouds. But when you look at it over there on ground level, it looks like it could be raining pretty good out there. Well, here, let's just, I'm going to go down to the end of the road, just go a little bit further down here. See if we can't get a little better look of it. And we're going to find, oh yeah, I just saw a lightning strike out there. I don't know if my helmet was in the way of the camera or if you guys saw that or not. And so some of those lower elevations there, the clouds, you can see where they're kind of sharp in their definition over there, kind of to the left of the camera. That's the kind of thing you look for. When you see all that stuff growing and rolling, boy, it can, it's usually a indi pretty good indicator that it's going to be a violent storm. All the fields are starting to come in, and the grass is turning green, and it's starting to get pretty nice looking around here. This fire station over here is a brand new fire station. They just finished it up last fall, and so the guys that are occupying it currently, firemen that are in there, they're all 
new to that station and it's pretty nice when they were building it I went walked, walked over there kind of snooping around there one night and saw when they were getting it all finished up and then when they got it done they moved in all their engines and stuff like that I went and talked to them those guys were pretty nice they let me kind of poke my nose in there and take a look around beautiful little station though awfully busy for being a smaller area like Williston is boy it gets a lot of a lot of traffic going in and out of there and here we are back so we'll just have to see how this video turns out and how the commentary sounds on it and I don't know how this is going to work out but I wanted to try this real quick too because I've got this thing set up now so if I'm riding down the road oh wow look at that I'm gonna have to move that that gets right in the way of my of my navigation on here but I wanted to just try another camera angle so we'll see how this one turns out all right bye well folks I'm getting ready to hook up the trailer and getting ready for the weekend to come. So thanks for riding along with me tonight and stay tuned because I'm going to have two to three more videos coming probably early part of next week from uh, our little adventures this weekend. Travis will be riding along with us when we get down there into the Black Hills. So we'll uh, see you soon.